Okay, so now let's go to Jay Carney quickly here. Jay Carney was asked about the phony scandals that the president is talking about. He's like, hey, you know, all these phony scandals. Finally, somebody asked him, cut 34. Mm -hmm. Here's Jay Carney. Jay, in his speech again yesterday, President Obama mentioned the phony scandals that are part of an endless parade of distractions. Could could you hold on just a second? I'm sorry. Is this... I I knew you'd comment on Mark Knoller's voice. Is that what this is about? Okay, I just wanted It's Mark Knoller. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. I I wanted... I thought maybe it was Robert F. Kennedy Jr. No. No, it's Mark Knoller. Doesn't he sound like... Mm -hmm. Does he have the same disease? A little bit. I I don't think so. This is just that he was born like this? Yeah. I, I wow. think he just sounds constipated. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think uh, we all remember uh, a few weeks ago when uh, Washington was consumed with uh, a variety of issues that... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a variety. In some cases... Variety of issues. Significant. Glad he addressed uh, that. Were, uh, mm-hmm. There was Are an effort a way to turn them into partisan scandals. Right. I don't partisan think anybody scandals. here would doubt that. I do. Uh, and I do. What we've seen as uh, time has passed and more facts have become known, mm-hmm. whether it's about uh, the attacks in Benghazi and the talking points, right. or those are that was true uh, revelations about conduct at the IRS. Yeah, that was true right. too. That all of it phony. Attempts to turn this into mm-hmm. uh, a scandal mm. uh, have failed. And that failed. It's over. You know, when it comes to the IRS, as I said the other morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, the president made very clear that he will, uh, that he wants uh, the new leadership there to take action to correct improper conduct, uh, and that is happening, and he expects results. Uh, what uh, some in Congress have failed to do, despite many attempts, is to uh, provide any evidence, because there is none, uh, that that activity was in any way uh, known by or directed by uh, the White House or was oh, even a lot partisan of or political. Mm. Uh, as uh, Testimony has shown that I've they, seen. There's no evidence it was partisan or political? What a ridiculous statement that is. How, how do you not get called out on that? There's no evidence it's partisan? Come on. Uh, produced publicly oh, in the press, although not by the Republican chairman of the committee. Uh, self-identified Republicans who participated in the reviews of these uh, mm-hmm. uh, applications for tax exempt uh, status uh, clearly denied that there was any, uh, at least, and this is just them saying this, uh, that there was any partisan or political <laughs> well, of motivation. Of course they're going to say that. It doesn't excuse the conduct, doesn't say that it's the mm. right thing to do. It means that we have to address uh, poor performance mm. as poor performance. No, it's okay. On and on wait, and on and on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Phony. Wait a minute, phony wait a minute, scandal, wait. right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The IRS, the, the latest is the IRS and the FEC is in collusion. Yes. In collusion, and we now have documents, documents obtained exclusively by the uh, National Review Online, correspondence between Lois Lerner and the um, and an attorney for the uh, FEC, the Federal Election Commission, shows that they had twice colluded to influence uh, the record before the F- FEC's vote on a case on a conservative nonprofit organization. This is according to uh, emails unearthed by the House Ways and Means Committee and obtained by the National Review. Correspondence suggests the discrimination of conservative groups extended beyond the IRS and now into the FEC, where the attorney from the agency's enforcement division, in at least one case, sought and received tax information about the status of a conservative group, which is illegal. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. Does anybody understand that word anymore? It's illegal. No, this administration doesn't. No, they don't. They really don't. If, if it's so phony, why did the president say this in the beginning? And the misconduct that it uncovered is inexcusable. It's inexcusable, inexcusable, and Americans have a right to be angry about it, and I am angry about it. They have a right to be angry about it. He's angry about it. Then how do you, how do you now classify it as phony? How do you do that? I will not tolerate this yeah, kind of behavior it. in okay. any agency, but hmm. especially in the IRS. Okay. okay. Well, it's still being uncovered. It's still being uncovered. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm so frustrated by all of this because I just feel like there, there's something in me that just says we can't. I'm, I'm torn. I am a guy torn in half yet again. I'm torn in half on the boycott thing that I don't want to be mm-hmm. that guy. Mm-hmm. But as we talked about yesterday, I'm sorry. There's no there's no you're running out of time and there's no teeth there's no teeth. 
Now on, on this stuff, we talk about this, but unless, for instance, the, um, uh, the health care thing with Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz and the senators are saying, stand up, stand with us, and we can change the course of the country. You know that it's working because you have people like Chris Matthews say that Ted Cruz is now a terrorist, not a bad guy, not a guy misguided, not just uh, somebody who wants to shut down the government, but a terrorist. So you know that it's working. You know that they're afraid of it. You have John McCain strolling yesterday through the big uh, Democratic Party um, uh, caucus. caucus. And there, there, he, he, oh, well, I was just, oh, I just accidentally rocked into the wrong room. Bull crap, John McCain. And they gave him a big round of applause and they all love him. He says, I, he doesn't know who he's going to be. If it's Rand Paul or if it's Hillary Clinton that's running for president, he's not sure which one he's going to uh, vote for. So here we are. We're sitting here. Everything we asked for, everything we asked for, a bunch of senators and a bunch of House members. To have a spine, mm -hmm. to stand up, and to do the right thing. They have a chance of stopping, and this is the last chance, of stopping universal health care. Universal health care is so out of control, even one of the main architects is now saying that it is, it's a train wreck. It's a total train wreck. It will, it will destroy all of our health care as we know it. You think health care is bad now or in the past? This will destroy it and put a nail in it. And I don't think you ever revive it because you'll completely dismantle what made us great. You have a chance. All they're asking is, will you stand up? I don't get a feeling that anybody's going to stand up on it. I don't get a feeling. I get a feeling that everybody feels a little bit like I do. You know, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm tired of standing up. I'm tired of doing it. I'm tired of writing. I'm tired of calling. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I know, I know. I feel exactly the same way. And I'm torn because on this stuff, we can't control it. On this stuff, I don't even know why we bring it to you, these phony scandals. We have to because somebody has to say what the record is. Well, And if we don't, they say it's over yeah. and it's phony. Right. Well, it right. isn't over and it isn't phony. Right. So we are building a we're building a network of record. We're building shows of record. We're building a a talk radio network. We're building an internet radio network. We're building a television network. We're building an internet television network. We're building an a, a an entertainment network. We're doing everything we possibly can, but I got news for you, you're running out of time. Ted Cruz said to me last week, he said, you know, I don't think the American people know what's about to hit them. And he said that with grave concern. I don't think the American people understand because I said to him, I don't think I don't think Washington knows what's what's coming. I don't think they know I, the GOP doesn't understand how done we are with them. We're done with them. And I said, I don't think they know it's about to hit them. And he looked down and he said, I don't think the American people know what's about to hit them, meaning this is much worse than you think it is. He said to me, he said, it's bad. And I said, I know. And he said, no, I don't think you do, Glenn. Now, Ted knows me quite well. He knows my opinion. No, I don't think you do, Glenn.